in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen good morning to you dear brothers and sisters let me bless your day with this gospel meditation first reading for today's holy mass is taken from the book of acts chapter 15 verse 7 to 21 and the gospel is taken from the gospel of saint john chapter 15 verses 9 to 11 Do you know the love that no earthly power or death itself can destroy? The love of God is creative and life-giving. Love of God produces immeasurable joy and lasting friendship for all who accept it. God loves the world so much because he created it to reflect his glory, and he created each one of us in his own image and likeness. He wants us to be united with himself in an inseparable bond of unity, peace and joy that endures for all eternity. That is why the Father sent his son, the Lord Jesus, into the world not to condemn it, but to redeem it from the curse of sin and death. Paul the apostle tells us that we can bound in joy and hope because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the gift of the Holy Spirit who has been given to us through Jesus sacrifice on the cross God offers pardon for all of our sins and failings and he calls us to lay aside everything that might hold us back from loving him above all else we owe him a debt of gratitude and love in return we can never outmatch god because he has loved us first and has given himself to us without measure our love for him is a response to his exceeding mercy and kindness towards us in god's love alone can we find the fullness of abundant life peace and joy The Lord Jesus gives his disciples a new commandment, a new way of love that goes beyond giving only what is required or what we think others might deserve. What is the essence of Jesus' new commandment of love? It is love to the death, a purifying love that overcomes selfishness, fear and pride. It is a total giving of oneself for the sake of the other. a selfless and self-giving love that is oriented towards putting the welfare of others ahead of myself there is no greater proof in love than the sacrifice so one's life for the sake of another jesus proved his love by giving his life for us on the cross of calvary through the shedding of his blood for our sake our sins are not only washed clean but new life is poured out for us through the gift of the holy spirit we prove our love for god and for one another when we embrace the way of the cross what is the cross in my life when my will crosses with the god's will then god's will must be done do you know the peace and joy of a life fully surrendered to God and consumed with his love Lord Jesus may I always grow in the joy and hope which your promises give me inflame my heart with love for you and your ways and with the charity and compassion for my neighbor may there be nothing in my life which keeps me from your love May Almighty God bless you, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.